Recently, there have been many reports that McDonald's fries can help regrow hair, but how much of this is based on truth? Despite online reports, researchers have not found the cure for baldness in McDonald's french fries. However, they may have found a way to get around one of the biggest hurdles in hair regenerative medicine. The breakthrough was finding a material that would allow oxygen to get to the cells. Here's what one of the study authors said in a press release sent by the Yokohama National University on February the 1st. The key for mass production of clusters of hair producing stem cells was a choice of substrate materials for cultural vessel. One professor from Yokohama National University said the following, We used oxygen PDMS at the bottom of cultural vessel, and it worked very well. A few outlets picked up the story, but it didn't start making scandalous headlines until somebody realized that PDMS is also used in frying oil to prevent foaming. Just a few weeks ago, McDonald's released a video explaining the ingredients in their fries, and they mentioned this additive in the name of transparency. A Daily Mail reporter may have been the first one to make the connection. Their story was published on February the 4th and was headlined, Short Back and Fries. Scientists claim chemical used in McDonald's chips can cure baldness and even regrow hair. The next day Express ran a headline saying, Revealed baldness cure hidden in McDonald's fries. It can regrow hair without transplant. With no source for that quote, the whole point of the technique is to prepare hair follicles for transplant. Dozens of reports followed, and even though many of the outlets reported the details of the story accurately, they almost all found a way to cram a mention of McDonald's fries into the headline. The scientists used silicon to build their hair cell growing chip, and McDonald's used silicon in their frying oil. This is literally the only connection. The researchers said they were baffled by the reader's misinterpretation of their research. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.